Rondon Light, a resident of Blankenburg, West Coast Demerara, is calling on the relevant authorities to look into a matter which resulted in the unnecessary impoundment of his herd of sheep, which has been grazing on an open piece of land for the past 17 months. The man noted that the animals were reportedly taken to the Denamsel police station after the owner of the land which they were grazing on called for them to be removed. A decision which he explained was uncalled for since the other herds of the area were allowed to be there. A lady that works, that has the factory at the back, said I should go and see her because she doesn't want my sheep to graze on her land. So I immediately went and I met her and her husband at the factory. She and I spoke and she said to me that she doesn't, the, the compound, the entire compound belongs to her. She bought that place 30 years ago and she doesn't want my sheep to be there. So. The conversation continued like this. I asked her, I said, all the other sheep and cow and goat that normally graze there, what is wrong with that? She said, I have nothing to do with that. Um, let me get off mine. I don't know specifically if this is point E, this is point B belong to her, this is point C belong to her, because nothing was itemized to me per se. Okay, so after Friday, what happened? Yesterday afternoon, I was at home, uh, grazing the sheep as normal because I've been doing this for the past 16 months and nobody came except Friday and yesterday and say anything to me as I mentioned earlier. After the encounter last Friday, the man explained what transpired on Tuesday. came over the trench into the pasture and they started running the sheep all over the place. They caught 19 of them. They placed them into the stray catching truck and they took them to Denham Steel Police Station. Light noted that there was lack of legal procedures in the manner in which this decision was carried out since there wasn't any notification of the intention to have his animals impounded. He was notified to pay $140,000 in order to have his animals returned. Rubdei Sinirain, The Evening News.